It's the Bakunin Observance Week here at Corvus Belly, and we have some epic boxes to give away. Drop your comments using the hashtag InfinityBakunin and retweet, interact, and subscribe on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook for your chance to win a copy of this new Infinity Action Pack. Good luck and keep connected. Hello and welcome, this is Carlos Bostre from Corvus Belli and today we have the most exciting video here because it has happened, it has arrived, we have here the new Bakunin Observance Action Pack, the new Dire Force Travel Theft and the new Cassandra Kusanagi, the Bakunin Bundle, the Observance Bundle. I'm Carlos Bosti, I'm making this video for you. It's Connie behind the camera, editing and making it fancy and looking great. Let's begin with this video now! Okay, here we go. I'm going to open, because this is an unboxing video, <laughs> then I will unbox this and this and this. We will see the assembly, the pieces and the painted versions of all these miniatures. Are we ready? Let's go. Let's begin now. As you can see, inside the box comes this white cardboard box and inside this comes a plastic tray. And we have here nine miniatures for your Bakuning Nomad's army. Okay, let's check them one by one. You have plenty of bases here. And let's begin with this guy, because he's the only guy in the whole thing, <laughs> okay? No, there will be another one later, but not from Nomads. Okay, the miniature that I have here is the Sinitor Observant. Okay, as you know, this guy usually reacts with the whole burst of his weapon due to his neurokinetics skill. One weapon with the hands, body and leg, okay, once you assemble this guy and just drip it into some paint, okay, it will look like this, look at this, look at this, perfect figure, and this is just the beginning, let's move on, okay, now, what do we have here, I think this one is the Reverend Healer, if I'm yeah, Raven a hero with boarding shotgun, okay, this figure, always reliable, always a uh, specialist unit, because she's a doctor, so she can help, especially that very difficult to beat Moira fire team, okay, observance fire team, this is the Reverend healer, as you can see, one hand with the medikit, one hand with the boarding shotgun, leg, okay, and the body, if you dip it into paint, and just, just touch it a little bit with some brushes, you will have this excellent final result. I'm lying, this requires expert hands, but you know, I wish we could shell the miniature like this. Okay, moving on. Next one, from the Bakunin Observance Action Pack. What do we have here? Who are you? Oh my God, oh my God, it's, oh yeah, it's one of the best figures, the most spectacular figures from the pack. Let me show you this is the body and this is the arm with the sword and this is the arm with the heavy rocket launcher of one of these Reverend Cenobites. Okay, the Reverend Cenobites, a new unit profile. You will see much about this unit later during the week with the, our unit profiles video. And you will see her in action during the demo game also. Dangerous figure with heavy rocket launcher. Lovely design, lovely figure really. Okay, moving on. Let me try to show you now the other Cenobite, which is right here, okay? This is the other Revenant Cenobite from the box, because we packed two of them in the box, okay? This one is the Revenant Cenobite with chain rifle, okay? Arm with chain rifle, leg right there. Ah, both of the, of the halos behind their heads come in a separate uh, piece right there, and you, when you put them together, this one looks like this, very dynamic, while the heavy rocket launcher version is very posing and very pretty piece for, you know, being dominating in the rooftop. Here we have the chain rifle, which is very, very dynamic, okay? Moving on, Cenobites go here, okay, fine. Ah, we have here kind of the lieutenant from this box, because if you assemble these figures and put them in a 300 point list, you have nine miniatures, you will need a 10th miniature, but their, their point cost will feature and make it work if you make this your lieutenant. 
which is, ah, look at this. The two legs are separate, the arms are separate, and the torso and cape in a piece, okay? And this is the Reverend Custodiers, the hacker, loadout, and with the, with the weapon on her back, which is a lovely detail, okay? Comes cast already in the piece. What do we have here? Let me show you. Oh, Reverend Moira with a sniper rifle in crouching position. Check this out. Crouching position the body. Okay, the cape in a separate piece with the sword blending in. Okay. Body with the arm and the, and the weapon right there. And the miniature looks beautiful. No, the next thing are beautiful. I'm translating Spanish into English. <laughs> beautiful, no, the next. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous figure. Gorgeous figure. Okay, moving on. If I have shown you a uh, Moira already, I should show the other one, which is here, which is, my opinion, like 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 the flag banner of, of this of this box. Really, really looks like the Rosetta Stone of all the Moira figures right now, because has the standing posing, the perfect face, the HMG, the leg here with the sword and the hand with the sword. Here we have the, the vine of the sword, the, oh, I don't know the word right now. And this is one of the best figures from the whole box. Lovely, lovely. Perfect, kind of almost like a statue of a, of a person right there. Okay, Reverend Moira with HMG. Moving on. And now I would like to show you the Orphan of the Observancy. Okay, let me show you. This is a new unit profile because the Church of the Observance uh, has their orphanage and they make this into like the light infantry units, line infantry units because they're medium. Okay, and this lovely girl looks like this. And she's willing to become a Moira one of these days. This one is an engineer, has an engineer option, so that's why she's carrying a gizmo kit on her hand and a some machine gun in the other hand. And now, the ninth miniature from the box, the big one, Silhouette 5, we're talking about the Penitent Observance. And this one is not made in metal, this because it's a Silhouette 5 figure, we're making it in thermoplastic. So this is the assembly here where you have the huge arm with the red fury, which is the weapon that this is carrying, shoulder pads, separate pieces, okay, the rag, here, here we have the arms of the pilot, the head right there, and we keep on assembling the figure here, because we still need to reach for the huge legs that it has, the arm with the sword, and the central piece, which will be the torso. Once you assemble this together, looks like this. There you go. This is the Penitent Observant with Red Fury and a huge sword, why not? Really menacing figure. So those are the nine figures that compose the Bakunin Observant action pack. <laughs> Moving on, now that you have seen the nine figures from the Bakunin action pack, Shall we check the Dire Force Mission Pack 12 Travel Theft? Okay, pues, I'm opening this box right now and I'm going to show you the three miniatures. And you might know one of these characters already, because one of them is... Ta -ta -ta -ta. Oh. So, now we're going to... <laughs> <laughs> so, now that you have already seen the nine figures from the action pack, we're going to check out the new Dire Force Mission Pack 12, Trouble Theft, which comes with three characters, and I'm going to introduce you to all of them right now, which are here. And the first one is someone that you may, might already know, because he's a character 
known and loved by all the community in infinity, which is Indigo Brother Constantinos, okay, which is this military orders character, okay, very useful, very useful to profile. The assembly comes with these pieces, and the miniature is lovely. Allow me to show it to you. There you go, Constantinos. As you know, the name of this character also is one of the most loyal fans of Infinity from since days one, okay, Constantinos, one of those super fans that we are so proud to have. Hello, if you're watching this video, Constantinos, okay. Indigo Brother Constantinos from Dire Force Mission Pack 12, confronting Bakunin Observance against military orders. So, here, religious, religious nuts against the, the each other, okay. I put this here, let me show you. The VIP, the HBT, high value target of this uh, box, which is the damsel in distress. Not so much, because this character is also going to have a unit profile playable in Nomads. I'm talking about Robin Hook. She is, in fact, the trouble theft, because she's a burglar. She, she, she is a friend of, what, <laughs> of uh, private property. This is the assembly of a very thin figure, very detailed and very delicate figure. There you are. Ah! Keep this in the final card, please. <laughs> this is Robin Hook. And as you can see, she has like a crossbow and, and probably swings from balconies and stuff like that because she's a burglar, she's a theft. Okay, and this plays kind of the role of the HBT in the Mission Pack 12, okay? Moving on. And now, let me show you the big name here because if the Bakunin Action Pack needs a last 10th figure to fill the first combat group and, at, and reach 300 points, it will be this one. This is the torso, okay, with the cape, very thick cape. These are the legs right there. This is the huge trans hammer that she carries. And this is the, the head and part of the arm, because when you solve these pieces together, you have Mother Agatha Guavara, okay. This is Mother Agatha. She's a reverend healer, but kind of the superior mother of the reverend healers, okay. She's a doctor, and she's obviously going to heal someone with a hammer, okay, right there. Obviously going to, to she, she, she works for, for her duty is to heal people, absolutely. So, all of these three together, kind of make this Dire Force pack, and those goes together very well. But maybe, maybe you want something else. This is another candidate for being the 10th figure of that uh, 10 unit list uh, with just one comma group, because in the point cost is very similar to Agatha Guavara and fits perfectly this Bakunin action pack. I'm talking about the new special edition of Reverend Mother Superior, Cassandra Kusanagi, classic character from the Infinity Fluff, and we have here the latest version in this special little box that looks super lovely. Okay, let me open it for you. And there she is. One big piece that has the head and the torso and legs. And there you go. In a very dynamic posing, you will have here the rest of the pieces. Hand with the sword. Leg. Of course, all bases are included. I'm not showing the bases in the video, but all these boxes and blisters have the bases included. And when you paint, you have here, there you go, Cassandra Kusanagi with the multi rifle with a light grenade launcher. There you go. This is the final result of the figure. Look at the back detail. Plenty of detail over there. And there you go, you have seen the unboxing, the pieces, the which ones are meta, which ones are thermoplastic, which ones are exclusive limited editions, which ones are available. The observance has arrived. This is a new beginning for the Bakunin jurisdictional command from Nomads. From now on, releases after releases, month after month, will keep on filling the army list until having a huge Bakunin new look, new, new generation of figures. You can go with Bakunin and embrace the observance cult, okay? Or yes, still Bakunin will be playable as Bakunin itself. But now the observance is the, is the theme, okay? Finally, 
Cassandra Kusanagi and all the nuns in a box, okay? That's, that, that's what we're going for, okay? So, I hope you're excited. I hope you all know what players are excited with this rebirth of Bakunin. Thank you so much for your attention. This has been Carlos Bostre and Connie making this video shine the best, okay? Thank you so much for your attention. Bye.